Zobungu Sospita Owich, uh, the coordinator for the Sufuria Revolution Movement. Let me speak this. First, I want to appreciate. Order, 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 members. Can I talk? Nionge. My name is Sospita Obungo Wich, the coordinator for the Sufuria Revolution Movement Kenya. I'm a resident of Kisumu County. Let me speak this. First, I want to appreciate the Jacaranda Bungalow Nainchi for your uh, support that you have already, uh, you are, that you have already uh, always provided to Raila Molodinga. <coughs> Let me say that Jacaranda Bungalow Nainchi, whatever you are doing today is very important in the history of this country. The Article 1 of the Kenyan Constitution talks about the sovereign power. It is courtesy of the powers that are provided for in the Article 1 of the Constitution that we always rise in the streets of, or in a, or the streets of this Republic of Kenya to demonstrate. Therefore, let me warn William Samoy Ruto, because I don't recognize you as the president, because I don't know when you got that position. Let me warn you that each and every time that you talk bad against, against, uh, against uh, pro, uh, dem demonstrations, I really feel so sad simply because you did not support the 2010 constitution. You are an enemy number one for the 2010 constitution. And I'm saying this, it is barbaric, it is uncalled for, it is uncouth, and it is unwanted. And we are warning you in the strongest terms possible that you keep off from intimidating the Kenyan people, that you keep off from threatening the young people of this country, and that you keep off from using police against the wishes and the dictates of the Kenyan constitution. Therefore, I'm telling you this as I finish, that the police, I know you are here, the police, you are not a police force, you are a national police service. And the work of the national police service is to pro uh, protect the lives and properties of uh, our people. It is not within your mandate to intimidate or to use guns against the innocent Kenyans who are taxpayers. Without our taxes, you cannot fuck your wives. Without our taxes, you cannot take your children to school. Without our taxes, you cannot fuck your wife. Without our taxes, you cannot take your children to school. Without our taxes, you cannot get treated. Without our taxes, you cannot even put on that uniform. Therefore, any police officer that is misusing, that is misusing his role, we are telling you that your time is over. And very soon, we are coming for the power that we have delegated upon each and every officer in this country. Therefore, we shall remove those uniforms, and soon you'll start walking naked in the streets of Nairobi. Amen. We will remove those uniforms. The Kiture Kindiki men, we will remove those uniforms from you, and you, we, we, you will start walking naked. And the women police officers, please stop being misused. Instead of being used the way you are being used by Kindiki, please kindly ask Kindiki to let you free so that you get fucked by these youths. <laughs> As I'm finishing, let me say this. Mr. Kiture Kindiki, Mr. Kiture Kindiki, I'm telling you that we, the Kenyan people, we are really shocked that you decided to remove, you decided to put the instructions to remove the media from the massacre in the Shakahola forest. We are asking several questions about the Shakahola. Yes. The first question, where did this Mackenzie guy got uh, the money to purchase 800 acres? Where did he get this money? The second question, who is behind this massacre? Ruto. Who is behind this massacre? Ruto. Because we fully believe that through the autopsy report, we will get to know that several body parts of the people that are lying dead in the Shakaola forest are not there. I know it is a business. It is called human harvesting. <laughs> I know the business that you are conducted there was to remove uh, the kidney and that kidney money is, is the money that was being used to purchase the church leaders. And it is through that money that you are walking all around this Republic of Kenya campaigning. I know that it is through that money 
uh, that you have been buying politicians who are in the Azimio La Umoja movement. Therefore, let me warn you as I finish that very soon the law will catch up with you. You may hide in state house, you may, uh, you may get the media out of that story, but I, I'm assuring you, these positions that you are holding today are temporary. Time is coming that all the information pertaining to the Shakahola will be known, and it will not be late, because we are going to open the server, and immediately we open the server, Raila Molodinga is going to be declared the President of the Republic of Kenya, and that is when we shall know what you did in the Shakahola forest. And we know that whatever you are doing with Ezekiel is to divert the attention of Kenyans and to involve the Luos in this affair. Yeah. This thing is about Mackenzie, it is not about Ezekiel. Mr. Ezekiel is clean, Pastor Ezekiel.